In this video, we are going to discuss the selection modes available within geometry mode. So for starters, I'm going to bring the red builder brush up into our level, and since we can't really see it very well, I'm going to jump over to brush wire frame mode, which will make the red builder brush a lot easier for us to see, and under my show flags, I will switch off sprites just to get that light out of our way. Okay, now let's go into geometry mode. Geometry mode is going to allow us to edit any brush. So that includes the red builder brush, but it could just as easily include this big subtractive brush from which we've created this room. So let's take a look at these selection modes. Now, when we first open this up, we are in vertex selection mode, and you'll notice that the vertices that form the corners of this box have all become fairly large, and we can click on them and select them now. And uh, now that they're selected, I can use the translation widget to move them around and change the shape of the red builder brush to get a customized shape. Now take a look at this. If you move the uh, red builder brush vert uh, vertices around so that you get an irregular shape, you will notice that you start to get some triangulation on the brush. Don't worry about that. It's fairly common. It's just a way for the red builder brush to actually create the geometry that you're trying to build here. So don't worry about that. So you can see I can select these uh, vertices and just pull them around and get all sorts of cool shapes. I can also select a couple of vertices, uh, like so. So here's two different vertices selected. And let's maybe switch over to the rotation widget. And you'll see, if I'm really careful here, there I can rotate those vertices around. We can also scale them together. So you can get my geometry tools window out of the way so you can see that. So I'm just changing the shape by adjusting these vertices. Now for a moment, I'm going to jump out of geometry mode back into camera mode. You'll notice that there's no close window to do this. You need to actually go back into camera mode. And I'll click on the cube button to reset us back to a basic cube. And I'll tap the space bar to... Uh, get the translation widget back. Now if we go back into geometry mode, I'm going to jump us over to edge mode, and this puts a handle in the middle of all of the edges of my brush. And this is pretty much the same thing that we had a second ago with our vertices, and now I can uh, select these handles and thereby select this edge, and use my various widgets to move these edges around and thereby change the shape of the brush. So we can pull this edge out, maybe grab this edge and pull it down, and it's just a way to quickly and easily get an irregular shape. So let's go ahead and click on our cube button and reset everything, and we'll go to the next selection mode, which is poly mode. When you select a brush in poly mode, you'll notice that the polygons become solid, and all of a sudden you can see the uh, different sides of the brush. You can now select entire polygons, and you can use your various widgets to move them around, to rotate them, so we could rotate this polygon a bit if we wanted to. And we can scale it. Well, it maybe help if I selected a polygon. So we can scale that down, and now I have a very irregularly shaped brush. And let's go ahead and reset that back to a basic box. And now we can switch to object mode, and what this allows you to do is to select the entire object in and of itself, which is very much like just selecting the object uh, without geometry mode on. But this is going to be an important mode to use later on once we get into brush clipping. Now, inside the selection mode group is also the toggle modifier window icon. We're not really going to go over what this does, but I will click on it just to show you the uh, geometry modifiers window that pops up. What we're not going to cover in this video are all of the various functionalities available within this window. We'll go ahead and toggle that right back off. And with that, that is a brief overview of the various selection modes available to you in geometry mode. Now, based on the selection mode that you have accessed, uh, some of the functions that appear here uh, later on inside of the toggle modifier window, which we're going to cover in a separate video, will change. So just keep that in mind. And that's going to wrap things up for this video.